Uh, Crash X Fleet says, how do you do a music making fatigue? I have that currently, and so I've been sample hunting. So how do I do a music making fatigue? Now, I've dealt with my ears becoming fatigued. And I do at times get tired when I do make music and I'm staying up extremely late sometimes. But I think fatigue, what, what is fatigue? What is the, what is the definition of fatigue? Cause I feel like the definition is going to help me kind of like answer this question. So <clears throat> to answer the question, fatigue is a feeling of extreme tiredness or lack of energy that can make it difficult to do daily activities. It can be physical, mental, or combination of both. Feeling weak or worn out, heavy, slow, run down. Um, yeah, symptoms of fatigue. So, fatigue for me, okay, fatigue for me is whenever I find that I don't have energy for something, but I want to do something that involves making music. There's usually something that I'm looking for in making music. So something that has changed the way that I create music is what necessarily am I feeling at the moment? What am I drawn closely to? And something that I've been drawn closely to lately has been the concept of storytelling. And the only way to be able to tell great stories is to have great experiences or have experiences that you in your mind can be able to put together in a way that like not only entices you, but makes you excited. And so I'll be honest right now, I am fatigued. I am genuinely fatigued, but you know, something that gives me energy talking about what I really love and what I find is whenever I talking about whenever I talk about what I really love which is creating making stuff hence the makers club I find that that energy that I was extremely exhausted in earlier starts to pick up even when I'm tired like no matter what and it's usually when I'm super passionate about something specific it could be something as simple as downloading pictures off of um you know Twitter and and whatnot and uh yeah, it's just something that naturally comes that I don't have to overthink. Because if you're overexerting, there's always a way to optimize whatever is being overly exerted, aka creating the fatigue. And so, uh, yeah, literally today, before I even um, started my day, I prayed a little bit. I got a routine going. I literally went to the gym and I just started lifting. I just started lifting. I hit the bike for 30 minutes and uh, I started mentally telling myself all the things that I want to accomplish. I would like to personally walk away with today knowing that I did this and I accomplished it. And one of those things that I had was setting back up my studio in a way that was already previously set up. Like the cameras, I had the M uh, the uh, MP, the, oh my gosh, the, the push three and all of my like cables are connected. The cameras weren't connected before. My laptop wasn't connected or anything. I had to update my two computers because there was the new uh, Sonoma updates for the Macintosh. So yes, <clears throat> yeah, basically long story short, the one way you can handle fatigue is to get your mind in a space that is creating a sense of motion and a sense of motion doesn't always have to be making a track maybe you're just listening to music because listening you're in taking something you have to allow you have to allow some sort of activity to get get moving and if you can stay in a constant state of motion maybe it not be a great grandiose one It'll lower the possibility of becoming fatigued. You'll just be in a constant state of motion. You're constantly, constantly moving. And it's impossible, it's impossible to become fatigued when you're not exerting, but you're staying in motion. And actually, it's very interesting that I say this because the first thing I thought about was Michael Jordan when he played basketball his rookie year. He broke his foot. You can look this up. He broke his foot. And, uh, you know, he had to basically take off a good portion of his like rookie year to make sure his foot was all right. 
but something he said was the only way to be able to play through and the only be the only way to be able to perform through an injury is to actually play through it. You have to play through pain. You have to pay play through the fatigue of a muscle. And something about playing through that muscle allowed his other muscles in his body to be able to like get stronger. And as his other muscles got stronger, that foot was getting back to normal. So I, I don't know if that makes any sense, but Judah said, thug it out. <laughs> but yeah, it's, that's basically a form of it. That's that's the one way that I think I handle fatigue the most. And even, you know, I have ideas for, for concepts and projects and stuff, but I can only do what I can and we're only human. But when in doubt, thug it out. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. <laughs>